The idea for Goodwill was born in 1902 after Edgar J. Helms arrived in Boston's South End. The young minister was appalled at conditions faced by a recent wave of Europeans arriving in America, desperate for jobs, food, clothing, and shelter. Helms went door to door in wealthy Boston neighborhoods with burlap sacks, asking for donations of used clothing and household goods. He hired people to repair those goods and then resold those items or donated them to the workers in exchange for their labor. It exists for service and not for profits. It gives primary attention to the human. Anyone, irrespective of race or creed or nationality, was welcome to work at Goodwill. Not charity, but a change. It believes more in prevention than cure. That is what a job does. The Reverend's vision lives on today with independent local goodwill organizations across the country, still following the basic model, accepting donations, then selling the goods to support people facing challenges to finding employment. In the 21st century, goodwill organizations have expanded their job placement and training services, offering programs in technology, healthcare, hospitality, and more, along with family strengthening and other community building programs. Carrying on the legacy of Edgar J. Helms and his lifelong mission to help people find dignity and independence through work.